This video is just a brief evaluation of the final outcome from our first session of watercolour painting in which the subject was either winter vegetables or winter fruit on a plate. Um, having shown in the previous videos the initial painting of the leaves and then subsequently some of the butternut squash, uh, I then moved on to um, working on the pepper and following that, um, the beetroot. Uh, the stems of the beetroot needed to be strengthened up so that they are close, more closely representative of how they actually are in real life. I love the sort of movement of those stems and the, the combination of the sort of fleshy green leaves with this sort of very earthy looking vegetable. And then finally, um, in order to make the things look more like they're three dimensional and, <clears throat> and situated on a, on a plate, it was necessary to develop these shadows. So this shadow on the pep, on the sweet uh, butternut squash against the beetroot, which I wet the dry um, paint underneath with just clean water and then dropped in a purpley gray blue to create this tone shadow. I did a similar thing here on the plate underneath the vegetables on and here and here under the leaves. It just all helps to um, really make the thing look convincing. Um, the plate itself, again, I left a little rim of just straightforward white paper around the edge and then did a bit of shadow on the under, underside, creating a sort of suggestion of underside to the plate, both here and here. Um, so the, the background is kept fairly minimal. This is just white and this was a little bit of pale blue wash. Uh, it's ultramarine with a little bit of alizarin crimson. A very, very weak mixture to create that soft background. Um, and then finally, I rubbed out the, the pencil line, which I'd drawn to guide me on the um, actual curve of the, the plate um, so that, you know, you can just see it without as it is, you know, just as a white edge. I think it is important in watercolour painting as much as possible to try and leave tiny bits of white paper. I mean, that's almost pure white, not totally. It's got a tiny thin wash of pink on it and some of these have as well. But it does, if you make everything too heavy, it kind of kills the uh, transparency and freshness of the medium. Anyway, that is the finished study with the tapes removed, which give us a nice um, clean uh, margin all the way around the outside. And we will now move on to the next subject, which is week two, in which we will, the majority of you will be doing winter vegetables and I will be reverting back to winter fruit.